Some believe that roller chain drive is prone to cordial action. But designers, after bold uses of many chain drives, have not found such action a problem. The engagement of the chain and the sprocket is effected in a circular arc. This indicates that the contact pressure is extremely light compared to the engagement of two gears. Moreover, the load on each tooth is quite small since the rollers engage about half of the sprocket teeth. The endurance of sprocket teeth is therefore far higher than that of gear teeth. Theoretical analysis of chain drive operation is also in progress. As the chain speed and load increase, that part of the chain engaged with the sprocket is swollen. If there is too much slack, the chain sometimes pulsates. Thus a tensioner to normalize the motion of the chain is required. Experiments are conducted to devise ideal tensioners. Tensioners made of oil resistant synthetic rubber are generally employed. For high speed revolution, oil pressure tensioners are most helpful. But for medium speed revolution, spring tensioners are commonly used. If the pressure of the spring is too heavy, the durability of the chain is affected. Resonance of the frequencies peculiar to the chain and the spring must be eliminated. When employed for a large size chain reducer, the slack is eliminated with a lever tensioner. Sometimes an idler serves as a tensioner depending on the arrangement of the shaft and the reduction ratio. tensioner is usually attached to the slack side, but sometimes it is fixed to the tension side. This serves as a shock absorber when the chain is overloaded. The tensioner engages the chain and the sprocket more precisely and prolongs the life of the chain drive. When torque variation occurs, the chain sometimes begins to vibrate. The natural frequency of the chain varies according to its type, length, and tension. In order to prevent vibration, a damper is used. A good result is obtained if a slight opening is left between the damper and the chain. If the damper is too short, it is likely to begin split vibration. Sometimes it is necessary to attach both a tensioner and a damper. The system of lubrication requires special designing. The durability of the chain depends on lubrication. No wear occurs if it is perfectly lubricated. Wear is accelerated if lubrication is unsatisfactory. To ensure long life of the chain, lubrication methods must match the various speeds of revolution. Needless to say, the higher the speed, the more oil is needed. Some believe that chain drive is vulnerable in high speed operations, but this is no longer true. Timing chains are in popular use for automobile camshaft drives with revolutions of 7,000 per minute. A designer of the leading Japanese automobile company using the timing chain has this to say. We can ensure absolute strength of the drive because the roller chain meshes with a number of teeth whereas gears engage only one or two teeth. It doesn't matter if the drive is somewhat noisy so long as it is strong. On long distance runs, one must count on safety more than anything else.
we certainly appreciate the great strength afforded by the chain drive. Selecting the position of the shaft is important to maximize the absorption efficiency and high speed revolution of the engine. The roller chain drive gives us greater freedom in fixing the shaft in the most appropriate position. Because the revolution ratio of gears is only one versus two, they must take up large surface area. If this is to be avoided, we must insert idle gears, which means higher cost and more chances of mishaps. How about noise? Well, at first, we were prejudiced against the roller chain, but we found after putting it to actual use that we were wrong. We can further reduce the noise by developing better tensioners. designer continues, with the compact chain drive, we can radically reduce the thickness and still maintain the same strength. Bakelite gears of the same strength require thickness nearly twice that of the chain drive. We are, of course, anxious to make the engine as small and as compact as possible. The chain drive certainly answers the demand for compact and powerful engines. An oil well rig. This equipment exploits chain drives most relentlessly. A rig of 1,000 horsepower is required to sink an oil well 3,000 meters. Moreover, the rig must be shifted from place to place after a two to four month operation. Thus, the equipment must consist of parts extremely light in weight and compact in size, which can easily be assembled and disassembled. Chain drives rather than gears and pulleys are employed in this equipment. It was oil well drilling equipment that opened the field for high power, high speed chain drives. Designers of construction machinery and equipment are making the most of chain drives. Construction equipment in Japan has been highly specialized and its efficiency greatly increased. Designers are constantly effecting drastic changes 
to make each machine perform most efficiently. equipment operates under severe conditions to build dams, roads, and cities. Manufacturers of such equipment are determined to overcome still more rigorous conditions by broader employment of roller chain drives to further man's efforts to remodel nature and to construct a better world.